Hey everyone, it's John with KG Tropicals and KGTropicals.com. All right, when it comes to discus, you've really got two different kinds of people. You've got people who have them and love them, and then you have people who want them but are too afraid of them. And this is with good reason. Over the last 30 or 40 years, discus have developed a reputation of being reserved for only the elite fish keeper, the most advanced fish keeper, because everything has to be perfect. And if you don't have everything perfect and you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna kill these expensive fish. Well, this just isn't the case anymore, folks. These fish are easier to take care of than you've ever been taught. And so I wanted to put this video together and a series of videos after this to kind of demystify the fish and make you understand that they're really not as difficult as people think. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that discus are for the beginner because they're not. You do need to understand the science behind an aquarium. You need to have some experience with keeping an aquarium. But you don't have to be this elite, advanced hobbyist to be able to do it. You want to know what you're talking about because these fish, they're not cheap. But you don't have to be somebody who's been in this hobby for 20 years to be able to keep these fish. So I'm going to do a few videos talking about them, talking about where we get them from and why we believe that the fish that we have are the best that you can get. And we're going to talk about what needs to be done to keep them. So, but in this video, what I wanted to do, even though the water in this tank is a little bit cloudy because we just fed these fish and the food that we feed them is a homemade food that kind of breaks up and it kind of gets the water cloudy. Even though the water is a little cloudy, I wanted to show you the fish that we have in here and uh, just introduce you to some of the strains. We've got nine different discus in this tank. Um, so I wanted to show you which ones they are. And, uh, and then we'll get into some other stuff about them down the road and uh, put a couple more videos together for you to make you feel a little bit more at ease about these fish. And then we can tell you where to buy them. So let's switch over. I'm gonna grab the camera and, uh, and I'll show you these fish, all right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So these are our five inch Stenker discus that we have here in the store. There, we have nine of them in here. They're in a 125 gallon tank in the back of the store. Come and see them. I wanted to run through with you some of the strains that we have in here. Um, back in the back there, of course, I am going to battle the glare in this tank. Try to get you a good shot of him. Back in the back, we have the Santarum. And this is, everybody's gonna get in the way. This is a fish that is was developed to kind of resemble the wild caught discus. Uh, absolutely love those. That is Lisa's favorite. Uh, and since this guy here is pushing his way into the screen, oh no, here comes another one, but <laughs> this is a red turquoise. Very popular. Uh, you see them in almost every discus tank, either the red or the blue turquoise. We have down here the blue snakeskin. And we got a couple of the pigeons, a red pigeon and a blue pigeon that's hiding behind the Santarum. I get asked a lot, what's the difference? That, that one doesn't look blue, but it's called a blue pigeon. Well, if you look under, at it under the right lighting, the part that appears to be white does show a lot of blue, and the whitish blue is the dominant color on the fish, where this one, you can obviously see the dominant color is red. So, red pigeon, blue pigeon, and then we move over to the silver pigeon, my favorite of the pigeons. And he's not going to want to show himself. Dark Angel's trying to push him out of the way here. Silver pigeon is uh, predominantly whitish silver in color with the scribbles around his face and fins. Awesome, awesome guy there. Mm, I'm going to have to go now. Okay, let's move over here. <laughs> because I'm trying to save my favorite for last. We have the cobalt blue. Again, these are five inchers. These are all for sale if you want to come and get them. Cobalt blue, which is probably, I don't know, I don't have any facts, but probably the most popular discus. And then our blue diamond has decided to hide back there. Let's see if I can get them under the rock. Oh, isn't that adorable? The blue diamond is another one that is wildly popular. I guess I'll wait for him to come out, but uh, 
all light blue all the way around his entire body. Very popular. He's just being stubborn and hiding. But my personal favorite, I've posted it on Facebook, you've seen it, is this guy right here. It's the Dark Angel. It's exclusive to Stenker. They're the only breeder that's breeding these. They developed the strain. And I, just like I said in my Facebook page, I can't tell you why that's my favorite discus. It just is. When you try to describe it, it's like a pearl. And I, I, maybe it's just the exclusivity of it. I don't know. But that's it's my favorite discus by far. And now the Blue Diamond has decided to come out and show himself. And again, the Blue Diamond is, is one of the more popular discus. You see him in just about every tank. Uh, all blue all the way around. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's what we have in here, folks. Um, and again, these are all for sale. Uh, this is not a commercial about, hey, come buy these 5-inch discus. But just wanted to show them to you, give you an idea of the, the different strains that we have available. And then I can run you over here real quick if you bear with me. Oh, never mind, the lights are all off. These are our tanks that house all of our smaller discus that are for sale. Got about 80 of them in there. Uh, maybe in a future video I'll show them to you more close up. Um, we've got three inches and two and a half inches and everything else in there. So anyway, there you have it. I'm going to put another video together here shortly talking about why even you can keep these beautiful fish. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the future discus videos. And uh, we'll see you next time.